At the start of the 2002 season, expectations were high for the Green Archers. Even without top gunner Renren Ritualo, who had already moved up to the pros, the team still had veterans Mike Cortez, Will Wilson, Adonis Santa Maria, BJ Manalo, and previous year's top rookie Mac Macardona. The season also saw the emergence of high flying sophomore Joseph Yo as a regular part of the team's guard rotation. This time around, the Green Archers were tagged as the favorites to romp away with the title. Experience and talent-wise, the Archers had the edge on paper. The promise of the Green Archers' lofty preseason billing looked like it would become a reality as they trashed the opposition at the start of the tournament. A true testament to their dominance was when they overcame an 18-point deficit in 8 minutes in a game against USD and still came up victorious in overtime. Going into the final game of the elimination round against Ateneo, La Salle was 13-0 and all signs indicated a possible sweep and an outright ticket to the finals. Unfortunately, La Salle failed to sweep the eliminations and eventually their aura of invincibility was pierced by Ateneo as they headed to the latter stages of the tournament. The Green Archers easily disposed of USD in their final four series, while second seeded UE confirmed the doubts about their mental toughness as they bowed to Ateneo in two games, as both rivals will square off in the finals for the second straight year. With memories of their lone defeat in the eliminations seemed to have hounded them, La Salle lost focus in the stretch in Game 1 to loot. Refusing to bow down and roll over, the defending champions came with their guns blazing in Game 2 as they were able to bounce back with a convincing victory to force a winner-take-all showdown for the crown. What everybody anticipated to be a glorious season turned out to be a sad ending of a dynasty. The team was unable to carry the momentum in the decider, losing their composure as they suffered from several bad breaks in the end game to yield the championship to the Blue Eagles ending their 4-year championship reign. After a disappointing 2002 campaign, the Green Archers underwent a rebuilding phase with a massive overhaul of the roster. Half of the Archers that year were rookies, while the rest had an average of only 3 years of college ball experience. Manny Ramos was the only 5th year veteran on the squad. With an inexperienced crew, just making the final four would already be a remarkable achievement. The Green Archers surprisingly won their first 3 games and against highly touted squads such as UST and UE. Thanks to the backcourt tandem of Mac Macardona and Joseph Yo, plus valuable contributions from rookies JB Casho, Ryan Aranya, and Jerwin Gaho, the team made headway in the first round, losing only to FEU and defending champion Ateneo. The Green Archers lost team in the second round as they won only two games. Despite the team's struggles all season long, they finished the preliminaries at 7 and 7, which was still good enough for a final four berth and another playoff series match against the Blue Eagles. The underdog archers seemingly took the defending champs to the hill before finally bowing out in the designing game of this wide married series. The team finished in 4th place that season and for the first time since 1994 was out of the finals picture. Ateneo was eventually dethroned by FEU in the title series. After two fruitless seasons, La Salle was determined to bounce back strong in the 2004 campaign. Featuring an intact lineup led by Mac Macardona, Joseph Yeo, and Z.Y. Tang, plus the addition of Rico Meyerhofer and the return of Cholo Villanueva, the team was raring to make a serious bid to regain its stature in the upper echelon of the league. Unfortunately, the Archers started the tournament on the wrong foot, losing their initial assignment against the Blue Eagles, thus ending the team's long streak of opening day victories. They went on to lose 3 more games for a 4-4 four four record with 7 games remaining in the elimination round, endangering their chances of gaining a twice-to-beat edge in the final four, especially since Ateneo were at that point still undefeated and FEU were not too far behind. Realizing that their season, particularly their goal of reaching the finals, was at risk, the Archers finally lived up to their potential as they swept all their remaining elimination games. 
Their late surge in the tournament propelled the team to a second place tie with Ateneo. A playoff was required to break the tie. So the two rival teams dueled in a virtual best of three showdown, wherein the archers literally massacred the Eagles in to win in two games. FEU boasted of its formidable frontline led by MVP Arwin Santos and were the consensus favorite to repeat as champs. For the archers though, they seemed to relish the role of underdog as seen in their performance when tagged as such. True to form, LaSalle's relentless effort on both sides of the court enabled them to escape with a win in game 1 of the title series. The archers were sadly unable to sustain the same winning drive as they bowed to the rampaging Tamarals in game 2. The deciding game went on down the wire and it seems that all was lost for the archers as they trailed going into the final minutes. Cardona and Yo led the attack to tie the game with less than a minute to go. Down by 2 after an FEU basket, the archers turned to an unlikely hero in the closing seconds of the game. Living up to his surname, sophomore JV Casho showed up in the right time and fired a clutch 3-pointer to give LaSalle the lead and eventually the win. Though this championship would eventually be voided once again by the UAAP board, the archers' sheer guts and determination to succeed that year was indeed something to remember. The departure of Cardona, who decided to turn pro with still a year left of eligibility, left a very significant hole to fill for the holdovers from the last campaign. The team that year was led by Yo, Tang, Villanueva, Aranya along with Junjun Kabatu. With Yo as the only primary scoring option, the archers relied heavily on their full court pressure defense and sheer hustle on both ends of the court all season. Their journey in the eliminations was similar to the previous season where they struggled in the first round before breezing through everybody in the latter stretch of the tournament. Well, everybody except the FEU Tamara. From the start, the Tams showed to everyone that they were dead serious in reclaiming something that they believed was snatched away from them the previous season. In fact, their main man Arwin Santos decided to forego his opportunity to turn pro that year just to have a shot at vengeance against the archers. Santos and company simply outclassed the competition, losing only twice in the eliminations to finish on top of the leaderboard. The archers on the other hand ended the regular season tied with Ateneo and UE with identical 10 and 4 records. By virtue of a superior quotient, LaSalle was automatically seeded in the final four as the number two team. They eventually faced the Blue Eagles for finals berth. Having beaten Ateneo convincingly in all their previous matches that year, the archers overwhelmed the Blue Eagles in the final four to earn the right to face FEU for the title. Once more in the role of underdogs, the archers fought valiantly in the finals but they were simply no match against the experienced Tamaros. Led by Santos as well as lefties RJ Rizada and Jeff Chan, FEU reclaimed the men's basketball crown in two games. Up until the end, the Tams remained an enigma that could not be deciphered by the Green Archers. LaSalle faced an eligibility issue after the season ended, and the ensuing events resulted in the team forfeiting their 2004 title as well as being suspended for the 2006 season. A year out of the UAAP limelight, DLSU dominated the minor tournaments as they won the Phil Oil Flying V tournament late in the year as well as two major preseason summer leagues in 2007. The Green Archers were determined to make a statement in their return trip back to the UAAP. Led by seniors T.Y. Tang and Cholo Villanueva, the team immediately made their presence felt in the early part of the tournament. Showing no signs of rustiness, they cruised past UP in the opener and went on to score two more wins against Adamson and 2005 Tormentor FEE. Then the real challenge came against a formidable UET, which on paper was highly favored to finally end a 22-year title drop. The archers were simply no match against the greedy Red Warriors in the first round encounter. LaSalle fell again, this time to Ateneo. The team struggled to end the first round as they narrowly defeated UST and NU. The team got off to a bad start in the second round as they blew a commanding lead in the final minute and eventually lost against UST, snapping their 8-year winning streak against the Growling Tigers. The Archers bounced back to win 4 straight but again were unable to hurdle Ateneo and UE. 
The Red Warriors were simply amazing all season long as they swept the 14 game eliminations en route to an automatic berth in the finals. La Salle, on the other hand, finished at 9 and 5 to qualify for the playoffs together with Ateneo and defending champion USD. The prospect of facing Ateneo with a chance to beat this advantage was daunting as the Blue Eagles were one of the two squads that the Archers have not beaten all season long. Just when the odds seem stacked against the Archers' chances of moving deeper into the playoffs, the Blue Eagles surprisingly were upset by the Bulldogs, thus setting a playoff duel for a second. La Salle finally prevailed against Ateneo to gain the precious twice to beat advantage in the semis. Needing only to beat Ateneo once, the Green Archers unfortunately lost Game 1 before disposing their arch rival in the succeeding match. La Salle thus arranged a final showdown with UE for the first time since 1990. With UE simply being a cut above everybody else that season, the Archers, as the heavy underdog, would have really needed another miracle to win this series. But others may have forgotten that La Salle had been in numerous finals appearances in the past. The Green Archers leaned on their maturity of their veterans to break UE's winning streak at 14. Their experience, along with their determination to eradicate all the unfortunate setbacks that the team faced in recent years, was simply too much for the Red Warriors to overcome. The Green Archers eventually won the series in two games to win the championship. The team that swept the elimination rounds was in turn swept in the finals. What an amazing season it was for the team, from suspension to champion.